Hey guys, Anthony from The Real American Outdoors and today I'm going to be replacing the fuel filter on my Duramax diesel. So these fuel filters run in the 40 to 60 hour range. Uh, buy whatever filter that suits your fancy or your budget, whatever comes first. So let's go ahead and take care of it. So uh, you really don't need that many tools doing this. Obviously, you're going to need your um, your fuel filter. Now, this fuel filter and every fuel filter for the Duramax is they come with some gaskets that you're going to need. So make sure that you have two gaskets and you use the new ones. This is a CarQuest 969060XE. Um, and then you're going to need a some sort of oil wrench, whatever you got. All right, guys, so starting off, all your work's going to be done on your passenger side. If you look to the back left of the engine bay here, the white canister here, that is your fuel filter. So right above it is your plunger, and then just to the right of it, uh, you see that blue cap right there, that screw cap, is the bleeder screw. All right, so go ahead and take this inner fender um, plastic cover off. Uh, there's little tabs you can just pop out and if you break them they're very cheap or zip ties do a great trick for any old trucks out there all right so some of you guys are going to have a uh, fuel water separator sensor on the bottom of the fuel filter so um, sometimes they're not even connected Mine's not connected. I have a replacement cap for mine that has a 3 8 uh, ratchet uh, be able to go right in there. So go ahead and disconnect that if you have it. And then go ahead and take your oil filter wrench and remove the fuel filter. All right, so after you get it loose, go ahead and nice and easy. Some fuel's going to drain, so sometimes it's good to have a piece of cardboard underneath there. Nice and easy. Coming right out. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead and drain that diesel fuel out of that uh, uh, fuel filter. Um, you're not going to want to reuse that. So where some of you guys are going to have a fuel water uh, separator, and it's going to it's going to be white with the um, little dongle cord on it, um, go ahead and remove that. Be careful not to break it. Uh, use a um, use a vice grip of some sort. Uh, don't break it because it is a dealer only part, I believe. I bought this XDP delete plug. Um, I will put a link in the description below of where I got it from. Um, it's aluminum. It, you don't need that sensor. And mine was not even connected anyways. So go ahead and remove it. There you go. Okay, so after you remove your delete plug or if you have the sensor on there, uh, you're going to have an old gasket on here. Go ahead and remove that gasket because you got a new one. All right, so now that you have your new fuel filter, you have those two new gaskets. So take your small gasket and you want to lube it just like you want to lube the other one. It is pretty much a must. Whatever you got, oil... And then you got to lube it up. And I'm going to put mine on my XDP delete plug. Just like that. And then I'm going to lube up this other one. And have it just sit right inside. And you reinstall your new fuel filter. Is Put your sensor or your delete plug back in and tighten it up. Just don't break it if you have the sensor. All right, so you wanna be careful reinstalling your fuel filter. Go ahead and keep it upright, especially if you have some sort of injector cleaner in there. And nice and easy. Just screw it back on. All right, so after installing the new fuel filter, go ahead and come up here. You wanna bleed the air out. So like I said, this is the plunger. 
and then this is the bleeder cap screw. So go ahead, if you have a plastic bleeder cap screw, be very careful with it. Those are prone to break. Uh, I have a built aluminum one on here. Um, it takes a 13 millimeter socket, so go ahead and unscrew it. There we go. Just enough where you can see. I'll try zooming in a little bit as I hit the plunger here. You can hear the air coming out. See those bubbles? Go ahead and tighten that up. All right, guys. So that is how you replace a fuel filter on a Duramax diesel. So uh, I like doing this every 10,000 miles or every other oil change. Um, I try doing it at the same time. It's just easier. So uh, if you like this video, give us a like and a subscribe to the channel for other cool stuff from Fishing Tractors Auto 2A or Freedom. If you guys want to see more content, check us out at realamericanoutdoors.com and Facebook and Instagram at Real American Outdoors. Thank you guys for watching.